Floppy Brian. Kapow! Goal! The robot soccer match was over. Brian's team has won. He really had enjoyed the game. From the bag. Brian was really good at making freezies and cutting up orange slices and leading the team cheers on his rock and roll banjo. But unfortunately, he was too floppy to be any good on the field. But Brian had plans to get less floppy. That night, Brian mummified himself to make his limbs stronger, but he didn't have any glue, so... He covered himself in Nutella and wrapped himself in toilet paper. When Brian showed up to the game, he was attacked by Nutella-loving wasps. Drat! The next day, Brian decided he would magnetize his body. All the pots and pans in his kitchen attached to his body. He was huge and strong. When he got to the field, however, everything metal near him attached to his body, and he became a ball of car keys, tin cans, and cell phones, which made moving very difficult. The next day, Brian drank 16 liters of diesel and ate 15 nuts and bolt sandwiches to ball up. He arrived at the pitch and threw up all the nuts and bolts. Brian, what's going on? You've been acting very strange lately. I'm tired of being the worst player on the soccer team because I'm so floppy and wiggly like a worm in the dirt. Brian, we don't care if you are a great soccer player. We like hanging out with you because you're funny and you're kind. We love your great freezy decor. And the funny faces you make. And when you play your walk and roll band though. Looking at all his friends, Brian realized everyone has different talents and contributes in different ways. He picked up his steel banjo and started playing. All the other robots clapped and danced along. Brian finished his solo and yelled, let's win this match. Hmm, maybe we should clean up your nuts and bowls before we start? Yeah.